Hey guys, welcome back to the second lecture of AutoCAD 2020. So today we will see all the draw tools that we have in AutoCAD. So we'll start with the line, then polyline, circle, and so on and so forth. I may not be covering all the uh, panels, but most of them will be covered in this tutorial. Alright. So when we talk about lines in AutoCAD, we can see right here in the draw panel, <clears throat> we have uh, the very first command for the draw panel, we have line. So to invoke it, you can either left click it and your uh, line is ready. So you have to specify the first point or else if you uh, type in L I N E or simply L and press enter the command is active on its own All right now let's see how we can utilize the line command so let's go to our layer properties and go for walls right let's do another drawing right here on the left side uh, we have uh, I have already made a floor plan and let's do another floor plan using some lines so let's select it or simply press L and enter and let's start from here so let's left click and go towards right and 15 feet enter then come down to approximately let's say 25 feet Right now, make sure your your polar tracking is on and your dynamic input is on. All right, let's move towards left for a bit of uh, let's say five feet. All right, let's move down again for ten feet. Let's go left for about uh, 22 feet. Let's go up 6 feet. Let's go left 3 feet. Up again 6 feet. Left 3 feet. Up again. We have to go for about 12 feet and then towards right we can go uh, let's say 10 feet and down 2 feet towards right we come and we try to snap this point and then track it track it down so it's 8 feet and then we click over here and press enter so this is pretty much our mm, boundary wall or you can say the outer walls of our drawing very easy to utilize the line command you can simply press L and enter to invoke it or simply left click it to invoke the line command let's uh, see what we can do with this is we can do an offset so we have uh, uh, all right so let's select everything uh, you can left click here and do a window selection then go for offset from here uh, offset distance should be six inches so if you click six and press enter it's already counted right so I want to select this. All right, all right. Now, one thing we have to do is before uh, offsetting. See, these lines are individual. If we select this, this is individual. Then, if we select here, this is also new. So we have to join all these lines. How do we do that? We left click. And select everything then type J 
and you will see a join command press enter now this whole thing is a single entity right now to offset this select offset specify the offset so six inches and then select your object you can go either in or out so i'll go inside right nothing uh, nothing uh, so complicated you can see very easy simply using the line command i draw the outer walls and then i offset everything right so that's it in the line command you can do the same thing using polyline also so i will tell you the polyline in the next video all right so let's move on to the another draw tool that we have in autocad or uh, what polyline is so uh, if you read the cue card it's basically um, connected sequence of segments uh, which uh, is counted as a single object and you can combine arcs and line segments or you can do the combination of the both so let's invoke the polyline so just left click it and we have selected the polyline command the other way to do this is you can type in poly and press enter so your polyline is active now let's quickly draw a floor plan so i'm gonna left click over here and go towards right and type 15 feet and let's zoom in a bit okay let's move down for about 25 feet let's go left for about 5 feet move down again 10 feet let's go left no the one thing that you have to make sure before while doing this spoil line is make sure your dynamic input is on your polar tracking is on right so this 20 feet go up for about five feet go left for about three feet five again right then this side we have two feet can go up for about 10 feet then towards right for about 12 feet go down for one feet go right uh, for for this measurement you can either track this point like this or you can type in three feet so it's basically going to be the same and then end by pressing enter so we have our floor plan now one thing that polyline gives is it's a single entity so when you select this using the left click of the mouse it's a single uh, entity so all the lines are connected by on its own while in the line command if you do the same thing you have to use the join command and uh, so that the it becomes a single entity i have already posted the line command video you can follow it and make uh, see the difference between the uh, both the tools <coughs> right so we have the outer boundary of our plan now one thing that we can do is we can go for an offset so we can select the offset distance for about six inches now you can either type six so it uh, you can, it, it it recognizes that it's uh, in inches now you can select your wall you can go either in or out let's go in so we have our boundary wall for the floor plan right here ready for us very simple just using the polyline tool we easily created it right all right so let's utilize the circle command that we have in autocad so by default there are a few uh, different commands inside circle itself so we have center radius, center diameter, two point, three point, tan, tan radius, and tangent, tangent, tangent. So these are the six different types of circle commands that we have in AutoCAD. So let's see what the first command is. 
so we have to simply specify the first point as the center and the second point as the radius so let's use it first point as the center so let's say I want it over here and then second point is basically the radius so let's give it our two feet very easy similarly the second one is center diameter so if we select it specify the center then we give the diameter so diameter can be four feet right for the two point we have to give the first point and the second point similarly for the three point we specify the first second and the third point right for the tangent tangent radius we can use this circle this circle and then specify the radius so it takes both of these are tangent and the third point is basically the radius and the last one is tan tan radius so first tangent 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 very easy so the circle command is uh, that's it in AutoCAD we mostly use uh, center radius or center diameter sometimes we may use uh, our tangent tangent radius but uh, most of the time we will be using the center radius and center diameter uh, nothing nothing complicated in circle command if you have uh, if you still have any doubts in the circle command feel free to comment down below so in AutoCAD we have a lot of different arcs as you can see there are uh, definitely one two three four five ten different types of arcs that we can utilize to uh, fulfill our purpose but uh, mm, most of the time we are using three point or start center and or maybe start center angle so where do we use the arc command so arc command we can use to basically design our door so as you can see I have already designed a door let's see how we can utilize the arc command to do the same uh, in this um, tutorial so let's say if I have a line command I can do something like start from here let's go two feet 8 inches and then go up for about uh, 2 inches then come left and can pretty much track this one using object uh, object snap and polar tracking so these two options should be assist on this one is uh, polar tracking right so let's enter it so we have the base of our door now we just need the arc so we can go for start center and end so I want this door to be like this direction all right so you can start from here and give my radius to here and then like all right so that's how you can utilize the arc command to uh, design doors and stuff like that in AutoCAD obviously this is a different um, door you can see there is an extended part right over here uh, so we can do that as well but let's keep it for another video mm, if you have any doubts in arc you can simply comment down below and uh, most of the time we are using uh, the center uh, start center end or start center angle uh, all the different arcs are pretty much works the same but you, you'll get the result as, uh, you'll get the same result even if you use the different type of arc so it's up to you what what you prefer I am mostly using 
the center start center end or start center angle as well as three point so yeah that's it all right guys let's see what are the drawing tools that we have in AutoCAD so as of now we can see I'm in my floor plan or DWG so basically we have our view panel right here so we can see we have our top view we are currently in the top view I'll also have a custom model view so if I go to my custom model view I can go to my entrance and it will give me an entrance view like this right so you can create your own custom view from if you come to view and let's say you want this view as your uh, custom view so I'll I'll select my view I'll I will adjust my view and then go for new view and then type in living room and click OK right then I'll go back to my home and let's say if I zoom out and then again go to my view controls and go to custom views and select living room will have my living room view so that's how you can create your custom view in AutoCAD very helpful if you are working on large uh, large set of drawing so you can create a custom view for everything now keeping that in mind let's go to custom model view entrance I want to create a garage over here right so let's utilize our polylines now before that make sure you are in walls panel or if you don't have all these different layers uh, you can use the default layer itself and then start from a scratch so polyline zoom in start from here let's go for a 20 feet and pull a track my this edge right then go up over here and close it down press enter that's how you can utilize your polyline all right you can do the same thing with the rectangle so if you come to rectangle select it then let's say if I delete this I'll select my rectangle I'll go from here I'll track this edge and I can go up to here right that's how you can utilize rectangle let's see how we can utilize a polygon so this is my entrance right I want uh, I want I want I want okay over the living room over here let's say I want a cool garden area okay so let's type 6 for hexagon and it wants to specify the center so if you don't have the center over here so you can right click and go for edge and now we can select the edge of this point and uh, let's go for edge plus this point and this point so we can dedicate this area as a garden area for kids or uh, for kids actually yeah for kids something like a uh, kids playing area and then we have a small swimming pool over here right so also you can go for let's say five and enter so then 
you can go for circumscribed or inscribed whatever polygon you want to draw all right that's about rectangle and polygon and as plus polyline all right so let's see a few more draw tools that we have in autocad so i'm pretty much uh, let's say go for points so we have a multiple points tool which basically we can use for measure and divide or then create multiple points basically and for the for this we have a command called point as simple as that so for now let's left click it and we have already selected it and let's define a point over here Oops. so as of now you can see your point is barely visible visible right so why is that so if you come to your utilities and go to point style four dots you can see there are few point styles for by default given by the Autodesk AutoCAD so right now we have a dot point which which is barely visible in our drawing so let's try some other point style let's go for this one and uh, let's keep the point size five percent relative to a screen default okay so now you can see the change you can it can be easily let's draw a few more points somewhere here 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 like this so it's more clear now right because before it was just a point which we could barely see so these multiple points can be used to let's say represent that we have a few trees in our garden uh, boundary something like that right it can also be used for uh, creating let's say surveying points over here or if you're doing surveying and stuff like that you can use it that's how you can utilize the multiple points now let's see if we go for a spline fit and I come to one of my point and make sure your object snap node is ticked so that when we come to a point it snaps it and then we can draw our spline so let's do a quick spline over here Press enter to finish. Looks pretty <laughs> unique, right? Let's a bit odd, but that's how you can utilize uh, our different draw panels, uh, draw tools that we have in AutoCAD. Now there is one more tool that is Donut, right? So let's select it. It creates a filled circle or a wide ring. All right so for the command you can type in donut let's left click it for now now it says specify inside diameter so let's say it's six inches enter and 12 inches enter now if i click here 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 let's leave that point and here so that's how uh, the donuts can be created and uh, you can see it pretty much stands out in the drawing and it could be used for surveying points and uh, maybe representing some kind of point that's how the donuts work 
All right, guys. So let's move on to another tool. So we have a uh, ellipse tool, and the ellipse itself we have three different types of ellipse. So one is centered, the other one is axis end, and the third one is elliptical arc. So for the ellipse, we have you can see the cue card. It says center, then first axis, then second axis. So let's go for it. Select the center move on left or right or maybe up or down so let's say if I go right select my first axis then we can go up or down to select our second axis right very easy let's move on to the second one which says we have to define the create an ellipse or an elliptical arc the first two points of the ellipse determine the location of the length of the axis so the first two points that we will draw will be the length of the axis right so let's go for it so let's say this is the first point this is my second point so that obviously going to be my length of the first axis first uh, length and then we can go up and down to define the second length of the axis right let's go for elliptical arc what it says is let's go for the cue card so the first two points the R determine the location of the arc and the length of the first axis okay the first two points first and second point with the will be the length uh, location and length of the first axis the third and uh, the third point determines the distance between the center of the ellipse arc and the end point axis fourth and fifth point are the start and end of the axis okay so let's go for it let's select it first and second point to determine the arc length then we can go for third point let's say over here and fourth point over here and where we fourth point is basically the starting of the ellipse and we can fifth times to end the ellipse with an arc nothing fancy we can do it very easily we have just have to try two three times and basically we will be using the center or axis end so the the, the you can try it few more few more times on your own so you can understand it easily all right so let's utilize some of our learnings from now the tools that we have learned in draw panel so the first tool that we will do is line so just press l and enter now i'll specify my first point then go right and type in one feet 10 inches right then go down zoom in a bit and press 9 inches then gain will attract my first end click and click again to finish the sketch so basically I'm drawing the plan view of toilet tank so this is the top view of toilet tank now we need our toilet seat right over here so for that we will utilize what we learned in ellipse so let's go for axis and ellipse and make sure your snapping mode is on and snap the midpoint of your tank and come down and let's go for a uh, one feet ten inches long and uh, eight inches wide like this so this is our top view of toilet seat now another thing that we have to do is we have to uh, do few more offset so let's select this horizontal line and come here to offset and uh, give our offset distance of uh, let's say 
how much do I have to give? Three inches and click. So that's what we have done right here. We have just given a three inch offset of this horizontal line and then we'll come to trim, press enter and then trim this part, this part, this part and this part. Press enter again to finish the command. So very quickly we have utilized the few learnings of our line and ellipse command to create a toilet seat. Okay, so that's it for this class number two of AutoCAD for beginners where we saw all the draw panel tools. We discussed uh, almost all the tools. Uh, the rest of the tool we will be discussing in the future video, so don't worry about that for now. And then moving on with the next class, we will see all the modify tools that we have in AutoCAD. So if you like this content, feel free. Uh, feel uh, just give give me a like and uh, if you have any doubts feel free to comment down below also share among your friends and uh, Subscribe if you are watching this. Thank you guys so much and peace out